What's going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Hopefully your week is starting out very well this week. Uh, I'm not too sure how mine's going, because I'm still doing a lot of these videos on Sundays and pushing them out throughout the week. But, I want to touch a little bit onto this here. And let me pull this up on your guys' screen. Boom. So, this was a little bit older, but I had a couple people who actually went to had the appointments at the National with Panini uh, hit me up on some stuff that when they were talking to the reps onto it. So I just want to make sure everybody's tracking onto this stuff. So Panini set to automatically fill order redemption cards this fall. A lot of people are not really um, getting the full picture onto it, and which is understandable onto it because a lot of times we miss stuff, we get overexcited, everything like that onto it. And there's a lot of gray area into this. So let me hit some of the key points onto this. Basically, they want to cl clear out their backlog, all right? So September 30th, they're going to begin sending replacement cards to customers holding redemptions for what's called low to mid-level players. That's the key where a lot of people don't know, is my guy low or mid? A lot of people don't know, like, Jordan, or I should t take Jordan out, like, Curry, Luka, LaMelo Ball, all that, they're going to consider high-end players. But when you have that gray area of a mid-level, let's use... Let me think who was Redemptions here. I don't know, I'm going to throw out some people like Desmond Bain and people like that there. You know, that's pretty much going to be your mid-level, even though it's a rookie card on to it. Some people were trying to say Trey Young might even be considered mid-level player. There's really no explanation to that, except for when you come down to here, and it says they had to have the ticket open prior to 2018. So, with that being said, your redemptions are opened from 2000, December 31st, 2018, and back are falling into this program. So when you really look at the player themselves, you should be able to figure, put it into a category of low, middle, or high based off of the player being around now for about four or five years onto it. Now with it being said, it could have been a high level card back then, but it's what they're currently at too, is what I was told because... A couple people, like I said, asked about this up there, and this is where it really got interesting, is that you cannot get Panini points as of September 30th for the old redemptions. At the same time, frame, they said it's going to be an equal or greater value onto it. You're basically not going to get a wish list onto it. They're supposed to be automatically just sending stuff out to clear it out. And what two of the people brought up to him was, why can't it, once it comes out, you know, you give us like 15 players or teams like that, or we can give you 10, 10 players and teams total, five players, five teams we like, so we get something similar. But the response was, you know how that would take forever to go through. So I don't know if Panini's going to actually go on to it. I guess one of the higher, uh, like, customer service people were there and he took note of it because it was some good points that was made there so i'm sure there'll be more hopefully come out onto this but if they're going to automatically just send you stuff oof it, it could turn out rough but it's supposed to be equal or greater value so maybe it works out i don't know uh i think that was it on to here yeah so basically, no more Panini points for those older redemptions as of September 30th. Be prepared to start seeing stuff just being sent out. You know, I know it was asked uh, if they think it's because of their licensing expiring, you know, in the next two years with football and basketball and stuff like that there. There's not going to be an answer to that. They're not going to come out with what their plan is for down the road probably till late next year. What they plan on doing from here on out uh, with that. I mean, we already know Tops not going to the distributors next year. The big ones, GTS, Southern, and Peach. So Panini will still be going out to them. But if Panini is not somehow incorporated underneath Fanatics, well, it'll be interesting. Because I don't know what they're going to be able to officially make onto their cards. And unlike where... 
upper deck has like Marvel and all kind of stuff out there. It helps keep them afloat. It might be a little bit harder for Panini, I'm thinking, offhand. Let me know what you guys think on that because it's just been things I've been tossing in my head on a lot of stuff. Uh, just It's just been a lot of knowledge. It's come out probably within the past week, week and a half. And just listening to other people's viewpoints on it I've known for five plus years is pretty much, uh, you know, enlightened, I should say. Enlightened a lot of my thought process. But all right, everybody, I just wanted to hit this real quick in case you weren't tracking it. Uh, I know a lot of people were uh, having some questions when I talked about this, I don't know, like maybe a week, two weeks ago. And the only thing I can really say is what I see here and, you know, what some guys that were exchanging some redemptions in were. Thoughts on the black boxes. Uh, I, I'm curious, what are your thoughts on those Panini black boxes that contain the one one card in it? <clears throat> the big thing is we were talking about is that... You know, now you're getting more one on ones of, you know, somebody's rookie cards too out there, maybe even Mahomes. With it being a Panini one on one out of the black box, where do you price that at? You know, it's an official card, it's got the engraved stamped onto it. I don't think you could grade it with that engraved stamp. I don't know if anybody's graded one. I probably haven't looked. But, you know, price wise on those, some people are asking fortunes for them. Some people might want a Tesla. Uh, onto it, but you know, I stay away from this stuff because it's just like one of those things like, hey, you know, we don't have your card here, take one of these cool things here, you open it up, and it's like a Zion 101 or Mahomes 101. Some people like this stuff, I'm just not really a big fan of it, but just curious what you guys thought about the black boxes out there and the 101s that come into it. All right, guys, take care, catch you next video.